Hey YouTube, this is Seth from Martial Art Fitness. Please hit the like, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification. I just want to say this, you know, this is a boxing bag workout, training session, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm kind of under the weather when I was making the video. I mean, I had diarrhea all day while I was at work. And plus, toward the end of my shift, somebody kind of pissed me off. One of the employees kind of pissed me off. And so I decided, well, I'm just going to go down to the basement and hit the punching bag and to relieve a little bit of stress on top of it. And but um, it wasn't really my full workout, I only worked out for like 45 minutes on on the back just on the back doing bag work and I kind of walked around in the 30 second rest period uh, most people would just stand still and wait for the timer me I don't like to stand still so I just walked back and forth through this 30 second rest period um, basically I'm just doing some boxing um, moving around the bag trying new footwork um, trying to use head, move, head movement, movement, move my head around a lot. Um, trying to be more elusive, evasive, and um, <laughs> offense and defense attack. Um, but yeah, it's just you know trying different things. You know, I learn on videos. And, you know combining it into my own training session and um, I learned one of the footwork drills in the videos from <coughs> Mighty Mouse um, he's a youtuber he's in, in the underground fight league on YouTube um, I learned, I learned, just learned it off his boxing video and uh, on the footwork the other day and so I figured out to try, try it out and see if it, it's beneficial and and then the head movement drills I learned off of precision striking but all of the combinations that I do are my own and so I don't really comment, uh, mimic any, uh, anybody else's techniques um, but I do try to you know work on my footwork a little bit move around the bag um, do a little bit of head moves movement and bobbing and weaving you know staying moving you know imagine that the bag is like a real opponent except the bag don't hit back <laughs> so <laughs> so that's the reason why um that's the reason why I do the punching bag. Um, I mean, I love to spar, I love to fight, but I can never really fight anybody to really spar around here. Um, most people don't really like to fight around here. Um, you know, most people don't really like to box. You know, I should say most people like to do the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, which I don't mind doing that. You know, neither, you know, either either way, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or boxing, you know, it don't matter, you know. Um, but I'm more of a stand up fighter than anything when it comes to martial arts. Um, I'm not really a ground person, um, but I do know grappling. And I, know, and I do know how to ground fight, but it's just been a long time since I've actually ground fighted. So I would have to, like, if I would have to start out in ground fighting, I would have to probably, you know, get back into shape on, on it. Get back into set on it. Like I said, it's been a while. Um, my old, my very, 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 very first training partner, um, he was like a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Jiu -Jitsu expert. And, I mean, he had no belt at all. And he worked my ass completely. And, but he got me in shape every time I would work out with him. He got me in shape. 
and but then I moved and then that was the last time I seen him I mean we trained with each other for three to four years and you know I would share him some basics on stand-up fighting and then um, just like the boxing itself you know do pad work do bag drills then we would try to spar with what, what I've been teaching him and but since I moved you know I hadn't really, I, don't, I don't really see him anymore um, I think he's still around in Camden somewhere um, I hadn't talked to him for so long I don't even know if he probably didn't talk to me again um, but anything about that this is about a bad workout video but either way you know you know if you're just training to get fit you know that's one thing the bag is good for um somebody made a comment get the bob punching bag um to work on power shots and stuff like that i you know i've trained on the bob before um in the in, on, on punching on the punching bag and when i did taekwondo and stuff um it's good for self-defense um but if you're training for like street fighting and stuff like that like if you want to do palm strikes you know practice rich hands and stuff like that like dirty fighting um it's good for that but to really actually use it for a workout um I really don't like stationary bags all that much because um, they tend to see if you hit it hard enough um, they tend to see the fall over and you have to stop what you're doing to pick them back up I'm more of a hanging bag person um, you can move around and you know stuff like that and you don't have to worry about falling over only thing you would have to worry about if the chain breaks and then you just have to buy you a new chain and hang it up um that's the only thing that i like about the hanging bags is because they're sturdy they're more sturdy you can move around them you can um you know get a good workout on them and stuff like that and you know that's what i use my punching bag for it's just to get a good workout in um nothing fancy um i'm not really teaching anything in this video but you know, I do have to say this, boxing is one of my favorite sports that I like to train in. Um, I, I do, man, I've been training on boxing ever since I was little. Um, behind the whole boxing thing, uh, my grandpa, he was really big in boxing. Um, he taught me a lot about boxing when I was little. Um, then, when I would get mad, I would hit the punch the walls and everything and I basically um I basically told told him I said I need a punching bag you know that way I don't break the walls uh punch the holes in the walls and stuff like that due to my anger and it was because my uh parents were going through separation and and stuff like that and so my first bird my I want to say I was probably about eight or nine when I first got my first punching bag and he bought my first gloves and he bought my hand rip I never did really use the hand wraps I didn't really like using them um, I didn't really like using the gloves at first. Um, I started out using them, you know, just kind of used to punching on it. And then once I got used to punching with the gloves, then I kind of went bare fisted on, like, with no gloves on and just did it that way um, for most of my life. And um, then a buddy of mine, he got pissed because he's like, what are you doing? He says, you don't end up breaking your hand like that. And he, I mean, he got really, really mad. And I mean, he says, you never hit the punch bag barehanded. And I said, why not? And he said, that's how street fighters do it. And when they train. 
So, you know, I switch it up and once in a while, you know, I might hit the punch bag off and on, you know, with gloves or without gloves. And, but I don't do, do it a lot because it is bad on the, on the knuckles. You know, if you do hit, hit, hit the punch bag, bare, bare knuckle, um, gloves are beneficial because, uh, you know, it helps protect your hand. Um, when punching, but you know, you got to realize, you know, if you do get in the fight, you ain't gonna have gloves on um, So I try to train both ways um, I've been trying to train more on bare knuckle Because um, I came across this sport called bare knuckle bossing um, on TV and I thought oh, I want to try some of that stuff and so that's one the reason why I decided to do bare knuckle boxing on the punching bag and everything. And you know, boxing is a good way to work out. You know, if you want to relieve stress, if you want to um, get a good workout in, get a sweat on. Just 45 minutes is what I did on the punching bag. Um, I did like six rounds of three minutes with a 30 second rest period. Um, most trainers, if you would be training for a fight, um, most trainers would um, train you that long in the ring or in the bag while sparring in the match. And basically, it's just that. <laughs> basically, it's just that um, when I used to compete a lot and everything, that's what my instructor told me to do every night, and he. He would write down notes for me to go over and you know curriculum notes you know for me to work on at home and then i'll do that from there when i used to when i used to compete a lot and um he'll give me good workout routines for home on papers to do and and then and i have to like and he would do it every time when I come back to class. And he would tell me, hey, do this, 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 and this. He'll write it all down. And then he'll fold it up and he'll give it to me. And he'll say, here, work on that while you're out. So, and that's what I'd do. And I would do what he would tell me to do. And and then when next time when I went sparred, um, I would actually get better at what I was doing and my techniques. And the only problem that I had had doing um, on a technique when it comes to Taekwondo was um, the hook kicks, the inward hook kick, the angle in inward hook kick. Um, That's about the only one kick that I had trouble nailing at the time on somebody, but in sparring. But when it comes to um, actual, actual um, sparring, I actually did try doing some, some of that, but I just couldn't really get my leg up there that high. Just high, I mean, because I'm not. I'm like I said, I'm not really that flexible. So it's like I just stayed with the basics on what I like doing. But I did at least try different things, you know, in sparring if I can do it. And if my instructor wanted me to do it. And so, <laughs> but anymore now, um, I stick mostly with karate and boxing. You know, I stick with my first original style that I've learned training all my life. It's mostly boxing. But I've also still stayed with karate as well. Um, but as like I said, it's just been on how I feel. If I feel like doing karate in a video, then I'll do karate in a video. And then, but when it comes to um, Taekwondo, it's got to be just depends on how my foot is or how I feel if I have a lot of energy um, to be able to do Taekwondo. Um, taekwondo takes a lot of energy out of you because you're using your legs more. Um, where karate and boxing, you use mostly your hands. Um, karate, you end up using 
all of it, but you don't use your legs that much when it comes to karate. Um, I don't know if it's Kyle Shin karate, then, then they use kicks and it. I do notice that they do have kicks in Kyle Shin karate. Um, but if you just train in Shotokan, Shotokan kind of has some kicks, but they don't really have a whole lot of kicks um, in the style of Shotokan karate. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, but the main style that I do know of Kyle Shin Karate is um, just barring and Kudo. Um, but um, it it does have a lot of kicking in it, um, a lot of punching, even knee in, um, leg sleeps, and everything else. Um, but the thing of it is, um, you can only do like certain kicks. Same with Taekwondo, you can only do certain kicks, you know. Um, you can't really punch to the face in Taekwondo. Uh, karate, um, it's kind of the same way, you know, it's the same thing as the Taekwondo sparring. It just depends on what sparring tournament you go to. It'd be like a form of kickboxing or something like that. Um, but, um, so like I said, it just depends on what um, tournaments you go to and what you're trained on, on it and how you do it and everything else. Um, that's all it is, really, you know. It's just on how you train. You know, if you're wanting to train for sports, sport weight, then wear gloves. Um, or if you just want to just get in shape where you don't injure yourself, wear gloves. Um, move around the bag. Um, work on combination for work at a minute, and, um, yeah, it's okay, you know, you can learn off videos, um, online, I said that's what I've been doing, um, it saves a whole lot of money, um, yeah, does it, does it substitute for an actual teacher? No, it don't, but, you know, if you really want to learn more about your craft, then usually online is the best way to go. Um, if you are, if you know what you are looking for, um, that's what I do. Um, if I, if I'm studying out of a book and I don't understand it, then I'll go watch a video on, on it, on somebody else's topic about it, and then that way I can understand it, and that way I'll know what it's talking about. And like I said, please subscribe to Seth Marshall or Fitness Doc. Um, Seth Martial Art Fitness, and and while I said, please hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you think of this video. Yeah, it's just a boxing workout, six rounds, three minutes, with a 30 second rest period, and yes, I am under the weather right now, and like I said, I've had diarrhea all day, and I'm kind of just not really feeling good. Uh, tonight and while well, I'm doing this voiceover and everything and I just figure out to do the video and work out at the same time and all in one night and that way when I get ready to upload it the next day or two then it'll be ready to go and I, and I won't have no problem to do so there you have folks please hit the like hit subscribe and leave a comment down below and Hit that bell notification, you'll get every one of my videos. And like I said, please subscribe to Seth Martial Arts Fitness. And I'll see you all in the next video. Train hard, train smart, do your research, and God bless. Peace.